Hey guys, so just by way of update, it's been a solid four weeks since I last had the chance to make a video and in that time I've had some minor disasters in the flight sim. The 737 throttle quadrant, which was uh, supposed to be the next installation, pretty much went to plan. But in my infinite wisdom, I then decided to upgrade other areas of the flight simulator which uh, took longer than expected and in amongst all of that my uh, my yoke decided to go on the blink so i've had to order a new yoke in so uh apologies it's taken a while to do this follow-up to the throttle installation here we go Hey guys, so welcome back into the flight simulator. It has had a few upgrades recently, but predominantly we're trying to get this guy fitted in. So this is the Throttle Tech 737 airliner throttle quadrant, modeled for the 737. It's all fitted in nicely. It's got the backlit parking brake. Everything is matching. So along with the throttle quadrant, there has been a few other upgrades. There is a second EFIS panel in place. So I had planned to overhaul the Flight Sim PM overhead panel with an open cockpit one, but that hasn't materialized just yet. So in the interim period, I have this touch screen with Nair Manager 737 panel. Quite happy with this for the meantime because it gives me access to all of the controls that the overhead has that the Flight Sim PM doesn't cover off with all of the enunciators. It's the little things like on this you have the stall warning. very straightforward easy to use so quite liking that I also had to replace my poor Cytec yoke which had uh, decided to give up the ghost midstream of doing all of this so I've got a replacement Cytec yoke and I've stuck with the Cytec yoke because it fits well onto the pedestals that I've got and I really didn't get on with the honeycomb. So beyond this, it will probably be go, trying to go for a, a proper lifelike floor mounted 737 yoke, but that's a bit further down the road. Anyhow, more on what we came here to do, which was the second version of the throttle quadrant conversation. So I will try to double handed show you how this is working in sync with the Zebo mod on X-Plane. Okay, so just to give it a little bit of a test run. Speed brake. Throttle one. Throttle two. Verse one, verse two, flaps, In all honesty, the flaps is probably the only thing I've had a little bit of difficulty with. I have a bit of a transitional change 
through a couple of the flat settings and it also seems to take a long time to it takes a long time to get the flap setting transitioned on the wing. I don't know if I've explained that very well but it seems to take a lot longer than it used to with the old throttle die quadrant that I had for the flap setting to go for example from 1 through to 10. It's probably the best way I can describe it. But apart from that, very happy with that. It's got all of the bells and whistles, the parking brake, the toga switches, the auto throttle disengage switches. Very easy to map with Zebo and X-Plane. It comes up as a joystick, which I'll show you. And pretty straightforward to, uh, to to match all of these things up. Just the flap settings take some work, and you have to work with the flap axis curve, which is a bit of a, a ball ache. And um, also, you need to go on to the the EFB tablet and apply the settings in there to the flap axis as well. I don't know what it's like with any of the other 737 quadrants, but sorting out the flap axis is the major challenge. Anyways, I shouldn't be grounded now for too much longer. All of the uh, hardware is back in place and quite looking forward to getting back, doing some flying. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps anybody who's uh, trying to install a quadrant. If anybody is looking to uh, install the Air Manager 737 onto a touchscreen monitor would recommend that. That works well too. Certainly, if you don't want to shell out the uh, thousands of pounds for the uh, the overhead professional mounted one, I got the uh, the touchscreen 150 pounds and the uh, the Air Manager panel. I think it's another 20 pounds, so pretty reasonable, really. Thank you guys for uh, tuning into this one. Hopefully be back in the air again soon. Like and subscribe to the channel if it's your thing. And we'll hope to see you again.